You're watching Pittsburgh Steelers Talk. I am Tom Downey, and we are less, or I'll call it around, 250 subscribers away from hitting the 11K mark. It is not less because it is just a little bit more. That's how math works. But you're not here for math. You're here for Steelers coverage instead. And if you want the best you'll find on YouTube, all for free, by the way, hit that big red button and subscribe right now. Tom Downey here for Steelers Talk by Chat Sports. Let's get into the Honey Badger latest developments. I still want to see Pittsburgh go out and get him, and the hope, I think, remains alive, at least a little bit despite what the GM might have said. Tyron Matthews said today that he's been in contact with head coach Mike Tomlin, which is certainly not insignificant given the obvious, glaring, massive need this organization has right now for a safety opposite Minka Fitzpatrick. Now, Matthew is one of the best and the most expensive, from a contract perspective, free agents left on the open market. Now, the contract stuff will explain why that could be an issue later on, but first, let's focus in on Matthew and why this is probably a good idea. Matthew said, quote, I mean, just being able to have this time with family, it's cool, but I still try to enjoy the process. It's still cool talking to all the coaches, the different coaches. Mike Tomlin, call on your phone. He's like, hey, oh, this is Mike T. The fact that Mike, Tomlin, Mike Tomlin called himself Mike T, I think is actually kind of kind of cool. Uh, so just being able to talk to these guys, man, it's a blessing too. Matthew did name drop Mike Tomlin, not any of the other coaches out there. That feels somewhat significant to me. And the idea of pairing Matthew with Minka Fitzpatrick would give this team one of the best, not the outright best, safety combinations in the NFL. Matthew would be such a massive upgrade over current free agent Terrell Edmonds. And to be blunt, I look at this safety depth chart and I go, you got Minka, and I think you need a new number two and a new number three. Uh, maybe you can let Killebrew and Norwood battle it out for safety four. Maybe Donovan Steiner's a piece. I kind of doubt it from that perspective. Trey Norwood maybe has a little bit more upside, but he's not somebody who wants starting right now. So from a need perspective, yeah, I, I do want to go sign the Honey Badger. What do you guys think, though? Let me know in the comment section. This is going to be the pinned comment on today's video. So if the ad break comes here on YouTube, go take advantage of it. Why for yes, you want to sign Tyron Matthew, or N for no, you do not. Now, look, I know the Steelers want youth, and they're looking for guys coming off of that first contract, which wasn't the case for Mitchell Trubisky, but I digress anyway. I understand what they want. They, they, they don't want to throw big money at a safety when they've got another one, make a Fitzpatrick do for an even bigger contract in the near future. But this team clearly still wants to compete and win with their defense, especially given their quarterback situation, at least for now. And the Honey Badger is great. He is one of the best safeties in the NFL, even as he does begin to age. So yes, I would find a way to go get Tyron Matthew. As long as the cost is within reason, look, if he wants $13, $12 million a year, okay, then maybe that's not really going to be in the cards for Pittsburgh. But we're almost to April. He's unsigned. I think his contract cost is going to be more affordable than what most of us thought it was going to be when free agency began. Good news, everyone. Steelers draft hats for 2022 are available. Get yours today in one of the better-looking versions of this year's group at chatsports.com slash Steeler Draft Hat. We'll put that link in the comment section and in the description. I don't mind either of these. Some of these hats, to be blunt, they don't work. Uh, I've seen unnamed teams, I don't feel like bodying too many people today, had white text on white text. Looks absolutely terrible. Pittsburgh in the black and yellow or black and gold. I'm not going to cause more fights than what's already gone on in the comment section here. It works. Chatsports.com slash Steeler Draft Hat. Minka Fitzpatrick, one of the best, if not the best, young safeties in the NFL. Well, part of the buzz around why Pittsburgh might not go get Tyron Matthew is that the Steelers are planning to give... Minka Fitzpatrick, a very large extension. Now, Minka, who has been worth every penny slash draft pick the Pittsburgh Steelers go up to get him for the Miami Dolphins, is now entering the last year of his contract. And much like T.J. Watt, he's young, great at football, and going to command a contract that is likely similar 
to the highest paid player at his position. He's not going to get Watt money, but he's going to get a lot of it. Minka, NFL career's last four years, have been great, right? More tackles this year, fewer pass breakups, interceptions, but he has always been a playmaker. He is consistently taking the football away. There are not many, if any, young safeties I go, you know what? Yes, I want this guy on my roster over Minka Fitzpatrick. He can do anything for you. I like him best deep. He is an awesome, special football player. And that comes with a very large contract cost. If I am Minka Fitzpatrick and his agent, I say, you should make me the highest paid safety in the NFL. I want $17.51 million at minimum. He's better than Jamal Adams. He's better than Harrison Smith. I think he's better than Justin Simmons, who I also love. Better than Buda Baker. Better than Eddie Jackson. And for Pittsburgh, you got a division rival. The Cincinnati Bengals, who are due to pay Jesse Bates significant money in the not-too-distant future, or somebody else will pay Bates close to the highest paid safety number in the NFL. So much like when Buda got paid and Justin Simmons got paid, it's not long until somebody else makes them the high, a different player the highest paid safety in the NFL. I would do it right now. I know it's expensive. You can back with the contract, be smart with the way you manage the cap. It's a good idea. But in fact, if you pay Minka right now, his cap hit probably dips for this upcoming year, as weird as that might sound. So what do you think? Would, do you agree with me? Would you make Minka the highest paid safety in the NFL? Use the dollar sign for yes or zero for no. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe and turn on your notifications. We got daily videos for you guys here at Steelers Talk from the Thomases or Toms at Chat Sports, Tom Downey and Thomas Mott as well. Subscribe, youtube.com slash Steelers TV. Let's talk Mason Rudolph and Dwayne Hassan's. A good article uh, from my boys over at, at uh, SI.com about, well, could Pittsburgh move on from one of Mason Rudolph and Dwayne Haskins? There's a very good chance, whether it's round one, two, three, whatever, that Pittsburgh drafts a QB this year. That would then put four on the roster. So you're not going to cut Mitchell Trubisky. Probably not going to cut that first-year player. You're not going to carry four. So do you cut or trade Mason Rudolph to save $3 million? Or do you cut or trade Dwayne Haskins to save 2.54? Now, Haskins is on that RFA tender. None of his contract is guaranteed you'd save all of his base salary this year. Mason, you owe some money from the way you did his deal in the first place, so it's fine. But you save more. Two very different players, right, in terms of like where they're at in their career. And I know there are truthers for both. We'll always tell the truth here at Steelers Talk. Neither are your franchise guy. That has been made. That's why Pittsburgh signed Trubisky, right? Rudolph can be a decent backup for you. Haskins is a former first-round pick, probably has more upside, although I would argue it is perceived upside relative to what he's done in his NFL career, and he's just a bit cheaper in terms of the contract. So maybe you keep Haskins if you want to try to grow him, but if you spend a first-round pick or a second-round pick on a guy, I think you'd want the veteran mentor. And you would want the better QB in case, let's say it's Malik Willis, for example. You want to buy some time, give him a chance to grow and, and develop. And in case Trubisky gets hurt, you don't have to throw someone to the fire. And if he's your third quarterback, you're not paying him that much, so it's fine. And play-wise, Mason Rudolph's better. Now, it's not great. He's not been great in the NFL, but he has been better than Haskins, who probably safe to call bust at this point. So who would you keep? Uh, if it wasn't clear from my, my talking points, I'm going to keep Mason Rudolph over Dwayne Haskins if you spend an early round pick on a QB. But I want to hear from you guys. Pick one to keep. MR for Mason Rudolph or DH for Dwayne Haskins.